Hey there, Wanderers. Like everyone else in the community, I've been f very, very excited waiting for the release of the new set. And so I thought I'd make a, a basically a top 10 most anticipated cards from the lobby level set. So, I mean, there's a lot of cards. There's like, I think, 102 cards in the whole set. And it just is comprised of all kinds of things, all kinds of entities, items, rooms, just so many cool ideas happening. So let's go ahead and take a look at the top 10 list. I'm going to start with honorable mentions first of all. These cards I'm excited about, but not necessarily like top of my list, but definitely ones that I want and hope I get, and we will see. So let's take a look at the list. So first up is going to be Cloak Coat. This is a wearable, and it's going to allow you to basically be invisible for two rounds of movement. Uh, it doesn't work against all face, but it's pretty cool looking. I really like this design. It's really interesting. Feels very uh, cyberpunk. So pretty cool. I like this one. Next up is going to be Suchiguma. This is an unfriendly entity that you can flip for a Pain Knight gem if you defeat it. It's going to be a rare, minus 6 sanity, and 5 health. And then uh, 2 deck in hand damage. I think this is just a pretty tough creature and really cool looking. Definitely looking forward to getting this one. Next up is going to be Bacteria. This is also an unfriendly entity. You're going to get a chance to flip for a Pain Knight gem if you beat it. And it is a, uh, this full art version is a legendary rarity, very nice. It's got minus eight sanity and eight health, and then three deck in hand damage. And it's got a unique feature where when you defeat it, it actually gets reshuffled into the pool pile. So that's uh, pretty unique. And this art just looks absolutely stunning. Like the green is, wow. Then we have Punctured Wall. This is a rare room. It's going to be three from the pool pile, three navigation points, and plus six sanity. But that's only if you have the Shrink Drink, which is one of the big reasons that I think this card is pretty interesting. And just unique interactions like that are one of those things that keeps me coming back because it's trying to trigger those combos. Very, very cool. Then we've got the Death Shrooms. This is a rare item and it's very powerful. It's got six attack, but it's minus six sanity to use. And this just looks awesome. Great design, great colors. Really big fan of this one. Next up is gonna be the Faceling. I put the uh, full art here because it just looks amazing. This one is a unfriendly entity. You can flip for a Pain Knight gem if you defeat it. This one is gonna be minus seven sanity and five health, and then three deck and hand damage every round. So this is a particularly tough version compared to the original, which uh, only had hit you for a little bit of deck in hand, minus four sanity and two health. So definitely a big difference with this one. Next up is gonna be Laughter. It's an unfriendly entity. Get a chance to flip for a Pain Knight gem if you beat it. This version is a legendary rarity and it's definitely more powerful than the basic laughter. It's gonna be three deck and hand damage every round, minus seven sanity with five health. Ooh, that is pretty brutal, but this art is spectacular. It's so cool. So the, the uh, digital comic art, very nice. Now onto the list. So at number 10, we have the Dum Gum. So this is uh, an interesting item. What happens essentially is that you can use it on an entity and then it's just immediately discarded to the discard pile. And that's uh, pretty powerful. It doesn't work on the conductor though. So it's gonna be a rare item. I love the design of it, it looks really neat. Just uh, really looking forward to this one. So at number nine, we've got the Hopper Device. This is a hyper rare item. It gives you plus three sanity when you use it. And the idea is pretty unique, it essentially transports an entity onto the opposite side of the field of itself, kind of like when you're moving rooms. Uh, but the thing is, if it has an outcome card on the other side, like a greener pastures or a void, uh, the entity is just thrown into the discard pile, so you can just literally send things away. It's awesome. Very cool looking. At number eight, we've got Cosmonok Tomat. I would love to get full art if I can. Either version would be great. This is a uh, friendly entity companion. He's a white legendary rarity, at least for this version. And he's going to give you plus six sanity when you use him. And the interesting thing is that he increases the effect of all of your item cards by two. And that's like, that sounds huge. So really looking forward to this one if I can get it. 
at number seven, we're going to continue with the companions because I would love to get Mr. Freeman. So this is a friendly entity companion. This one's a white legendary rarity. It's going to be plus seven sandy when you use it. And the cool thing is that anytime that you pull cards from the pool pile for card count score, you're going to gain plus two extra cards. And that is just, wow, that's super powerful. So he's going to be a huge boon in any deck that you put him in. And for number six, we're looking at the Scarlet Knight. Now this thing is amazing. This is an unfriendly entity. Chance to flip for a Pain Knight gem when you beat it. This version is going to be a legendary white rarity, uh, unlike the original, which is a hyper rare. This is going to be minus eight sanity when you can when you engage it. It's going to be eight health and then four deck in hand every round, and that is just dang. There's not many things that'll hit you for that hard. Uh, the Scarlet Knight also has a field of play effect, which is really cool. The idea is that it's going to add plus three to basically any challenge that you're facing, and it's going to hit you for minus eight sanity any time that you fight an en entity, basically, when you engage an entity. That is really rough. Ooh, tough. At uh, number five, we're actually looking at a room, the False Wall. This one looks awesome. This is a, a hyper purple rarity. It's going to give you two from the pool pile, but the unique thing is that it gives you five navigation points and five sanity extra when you when you uh, go into it. And then every entity present, if you're engaged or just on the field of play, they're all going to get put to the discard pile. That's just wild. Like, that's so cool. So for number four, we're actually looking at an item, and this is only an uncommon item, but the shock shrooms, like, really impressed me when I saw them. I have a huge love for the Boom Shrooms with its three attack, and this one is like Boom Shrooms, but even better, because it's three attack, and then it also paralyzes the target for a round, so you don't take damage from them in the next round, and that is just amazing, and they have such a cool design. Like, these colors are just stellar. Love it. At number three, we actually have another companion. This is a friendly companion entity, legendary rarity. This is the Crimson Knight. He gives you plus seven sanity when you bring him into your party, and he's going to be basically increasing the power of all of your attack items. Uh, the original version is plus two. It looks like this full art version is plus three. Man, he looks just beefy. It's going to take down everything. It's awesome. It's such a cool design. Number two, we're going to be going for the ancient variation of one of my favorite entities, the Faceling. So this ancient Faceling is brutal. He is a uh, purple hyper uh, entity, and he's going to be minus eight sanity when you encounter him, seven health, and three deck in hand damage every round. But if you can defeat him, you will have a chance to flip for a Pain Knight gem at least. However, you can't distract him. His uh, energy to chase never wavers, as it says. He is really cool. Ah, oh, what a great design, honestly. Love it. And finally, for number one, we have the Clocksmith. I would love to get the full art Clocksmith. He is just amazing looking. So he is uh, pretty awesome. He's a hyper rare. He's going to hit you for minus seven sanity. So you can either attack him when you encounter him, or you can just get two cards, two items from the pool pile. So he's just, dang, look at that design. Stellar. It's definitely my most excited card. So that is my top most anticipated card for the lobby level set. I'm very excited to start putting out videos, opening up packs, and kind of showing what I've accumulated for my collection and what kind of crazy decks I'm going to be able to build. So thank you for coming by. Hope you had a great time, and hope to see you for the next video. Start uh, opening some packs soon. Alright, thanks for watching. Take care.